You are so stunning. Thank you. These are in-ray locks. Oh yes. My God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You well, are a style icon, and everything that you produced in life and all that, it's a pleasure to be here. Oh my gosh. I really do. This is exactly how I feel about you, oh, and I'm right. not the only one. You had a street named after you. I did, I did. Erica Alexander <laughs> Way. Yes. I mean, what? Oh, wow. In That's your me. town of Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> yes. I'm from Arizona, so they had a whole week that was Erica Alexander week. They welcomed me home, Navajo, Hopi, Mestizo, Mexican, um, everybody. They gave me a beautiful community welcome, and my mother was there. What do you, like, think and feel in those surreal moments? Loved. Both my parents were orphans. My mother was there to be honored herself. They're going to put her face on the side of the building. She was an educator. Uh, my father was an itinerant preacher, Kojic, and um, we lived the first 11 years of my life in a hotel called Starlight off of Route 66. And so when they welcome you home and they say they're proud of you, but also to tell people there that where you are is where it's at. You can succeed. And these formative years can shape you. And I am part of Arizona, and it is a part of me. I'm also a part of Philly, where I was discovered. So I'm glad to be welcomed home, and I was very honored to do it, but also it was a place to call home, finally. Thank so you. So there it is. That... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you built a family yes. with living single. I did. Um, and you just celebrated your 30th anniversary. Yes, 30 years. <laughs> We've been on the air for 30 years. Those are my sisters and T.C. Carson and John Hinton and also Yvette Lee Bowser, who's the first African-American woman to make a primetime show. So she paved the way for Shonda Rhimes and, you know, so many wonderful creators. 